On this video, we're going to take you guys along our trip to Ford Fest in Bowling Green, Kentucky, and show you a little bit of the preparation before we leave, and our trip there, and what we did, and the racing, and everything we did there, and our drive back, and some of the really cool stuff we saw at Ford Fest. So, here we go. Even after the thermostat, how's this car run this hot in the rain with the fan on? I don't get it. This thing's not even reading hot on the gauge and it's pulling over. Looks like all we gotta do is set the toe and let her go. It's quite a ways off on this side. That's a little better. Maybe you want more of the casings out now. So while I had it up on the lift, I checked all my fluids and I was two quarts low in the transfer case, which is probably about all the fluid it holds. And then I filled it up and it started leaking really bad. And I actually have a tiny little pinhole right there in the casting, it looks like, where it's leaking. So I'm gonna drain this thing and uh, try to goop that up with some uh, JB Weld after we clean it up with brake cleaner. Let's see how much metal is in this. Mm-hmm, glitter, lots of metal. All right, I let this thing dry overnight and now I'm gonna clean it off with brake cleaner and put JB Weld on it. All right, we got our welder out. Oh, right, here we go. Oh yeah, that's gonna work for sure. All right, we got her gooped up. The darker color actually came back this morning and put a second coat on it so i did some research last night and this is called the pump rub failure apparently and this back of this case is magnesium and there's a plate in there for the pump and the edges of that plate rub a hole through the case so it's not the actual chain like i originally thought so some guys have had luck fixing it this way some guys you have to replace the back of the case and put in a new plate that's made to not mess this up We'll roll the dice. Check out this group of misfits here, huh? Y'all may not have known we had this many goats. We got even more over there. Well, I just got done my first test drive of this thing, driving it to town and back. It looks like it has not leaked a single drop, so maybe the JB Weld will make it for us for a few more miles. We're gonna hook up to the trailer and see if it needs anything for our trip. This casing right here keeps going flat on us. I think I figured out why. One of them wood holders is in it. Perfect. Check your casings. Check your spare casings too. Right, Rafi? Our bearings don't feel loose or anything on here. I'm still gonna take the caps off and make sure it don't look dry in there. Oh yeah, we got plenty of grease. Looks like we're good to go for this trip. Looks like all of our trailer brake wiring is all right. We pinched it a couple times, you know, when we've hauled, ooh, hello. When we have hauled uh, the RV and the Lincoln. There's our little silky rooster. He's come up here to check out what we're doing. Gotta have your spare casing. Okay, hit the brakes. All right, let off. Left blinker. Right blinker. So the decision has been made. We're taking this car. We're planning on doing the autocross with it. We're not taking this one because of the overheating issue. I don't really think it would make the drive all the way up there because it's getting a, it's overheating on just like a 20, 30 minute drive. The reason we're hauling this car is because the transmission in this car, the hotter it gets, the less it goes in second gear and it just slips and slips and slips in second. So it works all right if you baby it a lot, but I wouldn't trust it either to make that far of a drive yet. So we're gonna load this thing up 
and try to get some of our mini bikes and stuff loaded up too so we can put around the pits there let's do it ralphie thinks he knows how to drive center choke a little bit here Not so sharp, not so sharp. Cut it back the other way. Cut it way back the other way, buddy. All the way hard right, hard right, starboard side. Go down and put it in drive. One more, one more, that's neutral. No, cut it. <laughs> You're not lined up at all. Give it a bunch of throttle. Well, I've been messing with this thing for a little bit here and our throttle cable has come unraveled on us and our throttle is all jammed up. So I don't have a spare one here. So I guess this one's not gonna make the trip. I guess I should have checked it earlier, huh, Ralphie? I guess we're taking Mama's mini bike. It's got a flat casing though. This thing don't have quite as many donkeys as my other one. The other one's got the governor taken out, the timing advanced on it. Quite a few more mods than this thing does. Too good for us he's over there eating grass instead of playing with us over here well we got those in there i'm probably going to put some more straps on there or whatever but wawa's mini bike she used to have one of these with a 76 cc motor and uh it got stolen at ls fest like two years ago so i kind of get scared every time i go there now squigs says she has to take her bike right squigs yeah. all right we got a flat casing on this thing though no, not on that. On this. On this. On this. Uh, but you gotta get it really straight. And it just takes a second. Well, here's our big baby. It's getting bigger. It knows what to do with, with the bottle now. Anytime you get in the field with her, she's uh, looking for a bottle. Right, Granny? Oh, you look so pretty today. Rocky, I'm sorry, but they won't let goats stay at the motel we got. I'm really sorry. I know you're the star of the show, but they won't let you. I tried to get them to. I told them you were a service goat. Well, you don't have to get so mad about it, Rocky. We can't help it. It's not our decision. Well, it's 5 a.m. We got the uh, Falcon packed down with luggage so we don't have to put it all in the truck. We're about to head out of here. All right, we're about an hour and a half into our drive now. We're in Crossville, Tennessee. Looks like everything's Hanging in there pretty good. I like to check my bearings and casings, you know. You don't want to overheat a casing. You got some baby food back there? No. Huh? Yeah. Okay. The 
sons finally come out, these little kids think that they got to have some game to play with. I mean, what happened to back in the day just looking out the window, hoping you didn't get smacked by your parents? Times have changed, I guess. We got to stop and see some of the family members. I grew up in Middle Tennessee, so had to stop and see my uncles and uh, ride their little tractor around now on the beach bill. crossed over into Kentucky, getting closer. Well, we've uh, missed our turn. Now we're on a one lane road in the middle of nowhere, Kentucky. So hopefully we'll make it there without finding any banjos. All right, we had to put some fuel in the truck. This thing's thirsty. But we're not too far away. I think we've got about 45 minutes left to go. Everything seems like it's uh, staying in there. There's Wawa. Well, no trip would be complete without the Dollar General. Got me a $3 hat. We're almost to Beach Bend now. All right, we got all registered up. We're gonna go park our truck and trailer back here somewhere. They knew I was going to be going pretty slow anyway, but uh, I'm going to show these fools. <laughs> All right, we're in the six passenger Falcon riding around at Ford Fest. We're going to see what's out here. Maybe they got a deal on some casings. You never know. Check out that LTD wagon. That looks like my old car, huh? Except for nice. Wawa, we're headed 
out of the event we're going to drive over into bowling green with this little jewel i love the entrance road into this place it feels like you're driving into like somebody's plantation home or something it's beautiful back here gotta represent the sponsors perfect oh here we are the corvette museum that building is very interesting kind of looks like a big zit or something <laughs> all right we're here we're gonna head inside i've never been inside the corvette museum i've drove by it i've never went Man, in look at all the brand new corvettes is this ralphie approved Oh, you say ish about everything of mine, but this is a phrase. Where are the Thunderbirds at? <laughs> no, no Thunderbirds? Man, how cool is this? So this should be a 53 Corvette. It says chassis number three. I think these were called the, were they the Blue Flame 6? Is that what, I, am I remembering them right? Man, it's cool to see a cutaway in person. I've seen uh, pictures of them before. Well, heavens to Betsy, there was a Thunderbird here. I knew there was a reason we came. Wow, this Corvette was enclosed in brick in a grocery store from 1959 till 1986. How incredible is that, huh? My Lord, look how wide the casings are. Wow, look how bad they are, the cars that fell in the sinkhole we're inside the zit right now and there's the sinkhole we're standing on top of it now 30 feet down what do you think ralphie that's creepy well that's a shame isn't it good thing it wasn't thunderbird though but this is really cool this was uh corvette's answer to the dodge viper they built a V12 concept car. Man, I wish that would have come. This thing's got over 600 donkeys. Man, maybe one day we'll have enough in the envelope to buy us a Corvette. Oh, you're already in the grass. <laughs> oh. oh, he spun all the way around. <laughs> oh, Wawa wrecked it. Oh, uh, Wawa beat Ralphie. Right, just floor it. That's all you need to know. Floor it, squeeze. Oh, I didn't know you could go this way. <laughs> well, Wawa did good. She won the race in there. Good job. I'm proud of myself. What do you guys think? You like the Corvette Museum? Yeah, I don't have one. Alright. Okay, we're getting on the interstate system, I reckon. We'll see how this goes. She don't really like doing more than about 60. Not really. Our temperature's staying good. It's like 170. Bolts are good, our oil pressure's good. She's doing pretty good on the interstate system. Looks like somebody's been blowing the casings off over here. I hope they do it this weekend. I'd love to see that. The old girl did good, right down the interstate, right to the motel room. I'm proud of her. Your hair looks pretty epic. Yeah, been trying. Man, what have I done to deserve this? I can see an IHOP and a Waffle House from my window. I think I've died and gone to heaven. All right, we're out and about in the Little Falcon. There's a aviation park up here I wanna go see. I've never been to, so we're gonna go check it out. I don't know these speed bumps, though. Well, at least we've climbed up the hill. That's important. Man, they're so much bigger in person. 
place is really cool. I love the old planes. That one over there goes 858 miles per hour. Lousy day. Friday morning, we're headed into the show. Let's see if this thing will start. Of course it will. race midway which is down on the asphalt down there next to across from the staging lane the divine protection over everyone here we thank you father that you 37 6 i think was the fastest time that, you know, there are a lot of people in the 37s 37s 38s 39s all right we're headed back to the autocross to get in the grid to run here we go we're going to set the record they said 37 was the fastest time from ls fest they thought they had something Maybe we can get ours there one day. I like that carbon fiber hood too. got done we did 61 seconds so we gotta try to break a minute if we get another run i think i missed the last turn up i was kind of lost out there i didn't see any green cones so i believe i missed the last turn up but i'm not sure
can't believe it. Even doing the whole course, we didn't we messed up the first time. We are hot lapping this thing. We are coming onto the dyno right out the autocross, second lap. Here we go, I'm so excited. I think the goal here is to get a number higher than my autocross time. So we're gonna try to break 59.9. made uh, 38 horsepower at 3,300 RPM and 75 pounds of torque at 2,300. It may be a record on this dyno, he said. Ralphie, do you approve of the autocross and dyno performances I've done today? a super clean 64 Galaxy. Look at that. Man, 428. Beautiful. If mine had a rear bumper, that'd be positive. Man, the body work is just flawless on this black car. This thing is really neat. It's a Pinto station wagon. I guess they do like Bonneville or mile vents in it. Looks like it's probably got an S-Linger cylinder head. This looks like it has like a Dominator cut in half with a homemade intake. I love this thing. They shot them out to you or they threw it to you? They threw it and shot it. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm glad you guys got them. You're calling getting junior. They just gave you all that? Yeah, because they let me spin the wheels. I love the gold wrap with the white wheels. It's Chelsea. grabber hood i love the wheels that is probably the most aggressive wing i've ever seen on the maverick man this is probably the cleanest maverick i've ever seen coyote swapped it's got wheels that look like factory wheels but they're like 20s or something i love the interior on it wow what a nice car got racing casings on it too these are my kind of people here got mustang rims on it Aftermarket fuel injection, got an SVO Mustang. 
sitting here. And then there's like a 87 or 8 Thunderbird, super clean with a coyote swap in it. Man, this thing is like the nicest SPL I've ever seen. Five speed car. Super nice. This is all me right here. Oh, and it's got a turbo on it, a non intercooled turbo T3. Oh, I love the green and white interior too. Here's a pretty common crow cap model. Nice interior. I wish I had something with nice interior. That's the thinnest casing I've ever saw in my life. You got a little bit of everything in here. All right, we're driving around now. We're going to go watch some drag racing for the first time. Check out how cool the stands are here at Beach Bend. It's all shaded. They said that uh, this place started in the late 1800s, I guess, as the uh, theme park or whatever. It's been here a long time. How cool is this? You can watch drag racing and the autocross at the same place. It's a 2.3 turbo in the far lane. <laughs> from the factory? I don't know. Never seen one. All kinds of Capris over here. Lots of Capris. We are getting outrun by a bicycle right now. Oh, Ralphie's headed towards a monster truck. It's a big deal. Man. Big block with a blower. Ralphie approved. The darn casings is bigger than Ralphie. And they're coming off the racetrack. They're going to kick the car. General manager here at Beach Bend Raceway Park, but Dallas, who started this racetrack decades and decades ago, is here, ladies and gentlemen, under the Honda Cross. So, ladies and gentlemen, we built an absolute legacy, and we appreciate it. So, thank you, sir. Things is lifting the casings up in the air. I can't believe it.
it was, pretty, was pretty awesome. Yeah, it should be in the car. I don't know what's going on there. All right, we had a good day. We're gonna head back to the motel, get some rest. We watched enough casings get burnt today. Our transmission just keeps slipping worse and worse. It was barely pulling at all there for a second, but. And our headlights have uh, kicked out on us three times on this drive, so not too good to drive at night. Look what showed up next to our truck last night. Where have you been my whole life? What a beauty. All right. It's uh, Saturday morning. We got the choke set. Here we go. <laughs> place is huge. I think they have over 500 camping spots around here on the outside. It's amazing. All right, we're six deep head to the scales. See what this thing weighs when we get it unloaded. $2,685. So without me in, that thing's 2,500 pounds. That's about what I had seen online. So I'm happy with that. That's pretty darn lot safety would break for all those involved oh look what came parked next to us he got some competition he's got a splitter though about the same size casings he said he had a bigger sway bar on it so he's probably a little faster than us got a 206 real nice guy we met here so it'll, it'll be neat to see what we run versus him they said they changed the distance on the course today so the time will be a little bit different modifications have definitely helped him he's doing a lot better than me the motor's still kind of stumbling i don't know what that is if it's just getting warm in the fuel or whatever i don't know science something reason mine's stumbling we're gonna go make another lap in the falcon see what she runs see if we can get a little faster time let's see if we can roll a casing off this thing
because I let it cool down in between or what, but man, it was boiling the casings off on those turns out there. And we knocked some time off. See me spinning the casings out there. Yeah, I got it off. Oh man, big foot. That's got some huge casings. All right, well, we tried to roll the casings off the beat, but it didn't work. I think we ran about as fast as we're gonna go on that. We're gonna get this thing back to our booth and uh, come over here and watch some uh, Bigfoot action and circle track and drifting. They're about to have a round track race with a bunch of Crown Vicks. That'll be fun to watch. It's definitely fall, isn't it? Such a sucker for a blue car. Fuel injected and everything. Is it a Cleveland? I don't know. Maybe. That is one heck of a shifter. Lord of mercy. Mustang, 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 Mustang. Here's another Ford Courier with a 2.3 turbo. That's awesome. I love it.
first time in real life. Awesome. Was it 22.5? Oh, it's got like huge places torn out of the tire. It's crazy. She feels. Bigfoot crashing the cars. Uh, yeah, I wish I could have rode in it like all of them, but still. What about the ultra forest things jumping and flipping? Still wish I could have rode in it, but I guess it was good. Okay, starting to rain. Oh, I got an umbrella here. Not a good choice.
Uh, we really had a great time. I think everybody likes something a little different. Mama loves the drifting. I love the drag racing. I really enjoyed doing the autocross. Ralphie, I don't know, was it Bigfoot? Is that what you like? Yeah, I'll You, do. your tablet? Yeah. Well, it's early Sunday morning before all them other turds wake up. I'm gonna check my casing pressure, check my wheel bearings on my trailer before we leave. You know, cause I was in the scouts. All right, we're good to go on the casing pressure and the bearings. Well, surprisingly, we're pretty good on oil. At the spot we're driving the Chevrolet. All right, let's get home, guys. Got some continental breakfast. I don't know what continent waffles are from, but we're gonna head on home now. working tobacco I grew up on a tobacco farm and that is year-round work it's either freezing cold or hot all right we've made it a couple hours in everything seems to be fine I hate everything's getting rained on like this but what can you do about it Filled the old jewel up with fuel. We're getting 10 miles a gallon, if you're wondering. So why do you guys think you have to get candy every time you stop somewhere again? Because it's good, Dad. Oh, it's good. I was wondering. finally made it made it back hey jb weld saved us on this truck huh i didn't know if it'd make it or not but it did have you missed us well <laughs> that looks like they miss us well we're gonna end this video off here thanks for going on this trip with us we had a lot of fun i mean you know we made like 38 horsepower or something ran less than one minute on the track what more could you ask for out of a car like this but There'll be plenty more videos of this Falcon to come. Watch the old ones of us getting it running. Follow us on Instagram, SleeperDude88. Facebook at SleeperDude. Check out our second channel. Uh, it's SleeperDude2. Check it out. We put little short clips up there. I show some of what I do for a living on there. So we'll talk to you guys later. Plenty of videos to come. Thanks for watching.